After being postponed a fortnight ago due to rain, Mother Nature finally smiled on the rescheduled Wagga Rodeo. We had a, a couple of things fall into place there that suited us down to the ground. We changed our uh, commentator, who was very, very good, accepted by the crowd, and the services of Lockie Cossa with his uh, animal acts. While organisers were happy with the rodeo lineup, they were ecstatic over the turnout. And we had a capacity crowd, or just about capacity, at three and a half thousand, I, I would estimate that was the crowd. And given the night that it was run on with uh, so much other things on in, in the town, we were very pleased. The large crowd was treated to the cream of the rodeo crop, and it was a couple of interstate riders who proved better than the rest. Troy Dunn, who's the nephew of Troy Dunn, we've all heard of Troy Dunn. He won both the open and the second division sections of the uh, bull riding, and the saddle bronc riding went to South Australia, a former Australian champion, Glenn Kent. As attention turns to organising next year's Wagga Rodeo, event coordinator John Gill says he'd like to see the Equinx facility rainproofed to avoid a repeat of this year's dramas. They have one in Tamworth and of course uh, I'm very critical of that one up there because they've had some wrong advice how that's all been done. But here in, in Wagga, it's now we've got to start looking for an indoor building and get rid of all these cancellations for the radio. Corey Hammond, Win News.